Okay, so I talked to my neighbor, and um, he's actually sent over the evidence of the rattlesnake. I'm going to show you guys a picture of that here just a little bit. Um, I'm, get, I'm doing some stuff outside right now, but um, we're going to go inside the house. I'm going to show you um, some stuff I got going on in there. Then we're going to jump back out here. I'm going to show you guys um, the picture and all that of the rattlesnake that they got over there. And um, then we're going to do some stuff out here. I'll get more into that. In just a little bit so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do smash that like button if you're not subscribed please subscribe a lot of stuff going on today i don't know what i'm going to get all ourselves into in this video but i know i know for sure i'm going to show you guys running the freeze dryer so um, i think i talked about it a few videos back that the screen whenever i moved it from the creek property to here that um, the screen quit working so they sent me a new screen I took it all apart, the back side of it, put it back together, and it's working awesome. So what's cool about this, this actually had um, the updated version for candy mode. And we'll, I'll talk about that later, but right now let me show you what I got in there. And then uh, I got some footage over the last couple of weeks of us um, pretty much playing with it and doing some eggs and some other things um, that I'm going to show you guys also. And uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this, but also stockpiling our pantry too. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I've never done spaghetti before. And we are trying spaghetti for the first time. Now, this is going to take a while. So, I don't know if in this video, if you guys will see the finished results. But we have some leftover fajita stuff I want to freeze dry too. But you can see there's three trays of spaghetti and some uh, fajita meat. So, I'm going to show you guys starting that. Then, I'm going to show you guys some footage of some of the other stuff that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. While that gets going, um, I'm going to show you some footage of the other stuff. And then, we'll see what we get into there. We had a big storm roll through last night. I have not been outside to look at any damage or anything like that, but um, it was bad. So we'll go out there and check it out and see what else we can get into. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, I just replaced the screen on my freeze dryer. It got damaged whenever I was moving it over to um, the house. And I'm going to put in some smoked pork um, that I got off the Traeger a few days ago. So this came in just in time before the meat wasn't able to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it in. It's going to be the first one. I've done at the new place and we'll see how it does. Kind of going to be our little test run for now. Okay, we are done with the pork. I'm going to open this drained. Pressure out. This took longer than I, what the heck? So that's what the finished pork looks like. Watch. We'll put these in the harvest right freeze bag and then seal it up. I've been waiting a long time to be able to do meat again. And when you reconcentrate this, it's gonna taste just like you pulled it off the smoker. Pretty dang cool. Now I'll go seal this up, put the date on it, what it is, and we'll have about, I don't know, I think there was probably like two pounds of meat that I did right there. Pretty dang neat, huh? That will last anywhere from 20 to 25 years. And I'll put the oxygen absorber in there and seal it up. Okay, so I got some leftover um, crock pot pork. It's like, it's pulled pork. Um, kind of like a Mississippi style. I've never tried pulled pork in the freeze dryer itself. So I'm going to put this in tonight and then hopefully it'll be done tomorrow afternoon sometime. And um, I'll show it to you guys. But yeah, this is I just flattened it out on there. And uh, we'll see how it does. I've never tried this before. It's got some um, uh, peppers in it and that, that stuff's the sauce or the grease or whatever. We're going to have some fun with the freeze dryer now. That's one good way to get rid of your leftovers is store it long term. So we got some freeze dried pulled pork. What up? What up? You gonna leave me alone? Okay, so you guys seen um, me doing some freeze drying stuff. If you guys are interested in that whatsoever, I do. I'm an affiliate of them, so 
if you guys want to click the links down below if you're thinking about getting one or getting supplies from there um, i'll have the link in the description box you guys can check it out if you want would you stop tucker yep it's tucker for you he's not attacking me at this second we got a big storm we got some rain and um yeah check this out looky there let me dump this out Hey, you know what? Since I'm over here, let's walk over to the pond for a minute and see how it's doing. See if that big turtle's over here. Let's we'll sneak over there and take a look real quick. Oh yeah, the pond is full. I hear frogs. Where's he at? Little Godzilla at. You know he's lurking around somewhere. Look at that. Well, you guys have said in the past I've wanted ooh. I've wanted to um put fish in here. Frogs are jumping everywhere now. But now with Godzilla out here, I'll probably just eat all of them. But I just found looks to me like a bunch of frog eggs. Check this out. Frogs are jumping everywhere. This looks like a cluster of eggs to me. What about you guys? You guys see that? I don't know if the shadow's covering it or not. Let's see. There you go. Look like eggs. That is pretty cool. I almost want to get a get some, put them in a jar and see if we can get them to hatch out. Well, what is that? Well, yeah, I think those are a bunch of eggs. Let me let me Google it real quick. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Frog eggs in water. That's what we got. A bunch of frog eggs. A bunch. That would be interesting. Get them and put them in a pool or something. But anyways, I've always wanted to put a bunch of perch in here and some minnows. The big snapping turtle would probably just eat every one of them at this point. So probably not gonna do that but that's cool found all those eggs bobby's following me out here check this out bobby follows me around like the guard dogs do what's up bobby and i don't like that because if i wasn't out here he can get picked off pretty easy well he can fly he probably wouldn't get picked off he's been doing this for a while i'm bobby look now he's going back he was checking on me I swear he protects me like he's always looking out for me. I have no idea. I had no idea that peacocks do that. Maybe normally peacocks don't, but this one does. And he's always taking up for me when Tucker is after me. And <laughs> he's running now. He's running back over there. Now he's following me. See what I'm doing. I'm Bobby. Look at him. If you guys are new here and haven't been around very long, we have had two different peahens for him, and they both have come up missing over the last year and a half or so. You know, I would love to get more, but I'm afraid the same thing's gonna happen again. Now they're out here free ranging. I wouldn't mind if something got Tucker though. So I'd be okay with that. Come on, Bobby. Okay, I'll put up on screen real quick um, what my neighbor a little picture of the rattlesnake last time i couldn't find a find it over there it was missing and he watched a video and then sent me the picture um so it's 100 percent a little pygmy rattlesnake over on his property and that's pretty close to ours so we've been on we've been on alert like i told you guys in the last video um but we haven't really we haven't seen nothing okay so what i'm gonna do now i went to lowe's this morning and i bought some supplies we got some netting some electrical netting for a pig pen I'll be showing you guys setting all that stuff up. I don't know if I'm gonna show you in this video or not. I'm gonna show you guys where I plan on putting the pigs this year. Last year we didn't get pigs because our pet pigs took over the, the pen where we raised out our feeder pigs and we still don't have the five acres fenced off for the pet pigs. So as of right now, we're going to be raising the butcher pigs inside Premier One Netting. And um, we've done that before in the past with great success. And um, we don't have anywhere to put these ones right now, so we're going to do it this way. And um, I want to show you guys just how good that stuff works again and all that this year. 
last year we just didn't get to do it and um, i felt bad about it because we have several families that i think are dependent on that meat and that was like the first time in seven years or more eight years that we were not able to do that so this year i'm going to make it happen so let's go to the truck and unload what i got whoa okay first there's uh our netting and our fence charger um, I don't know if I'm going to be setting that up today, but I'm definitely going to get the area ready for it. Um, I went and bought some peat moss. Boy, this stuff has got expensive. So there's a reason why you guys should do your own compost. And we started one, but it's just not ready yet. And um, this peat moss was $23. And I remember just couple, last year, you couldn't even hardly find it. The year before that, it was like, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. It was like $9. I don't know. But it went up a bunch. And then I got some black cow and a little bit of mushroom dirt. So we make our own little mixture for the raised beds and um, we do pretty good with them, I guess. We may end up um, moving the raised beds this year. So I need to find out, I'm gonna unload this stuff first and then we'll find out if she wants them moved or what. If so, we might move them today and get them where our new spot is. Um, I wouldn't mind them having a little closer to the house. That would, be, that would be okay, I don't know, we'll find out. Let me unload this stuff, get it off to the side and then we'll unload this um, other material for the new pig pen. Hmm. But yeah, so did you guys, if you guys look up Pygmy Rattler, that's exactly what that is that my neighbor sent me and what they killed over there. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, I'm in the Bobcat, as you can see. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the pigs that we're going to raise this year, if you guys remember, I think in the last video, um, I showed him clearing this area for the animals. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is clear a path because the way I'm gonna do this this year, and I'll explain more when I get out, is I wanna be able to back my trailer up over in here to load the, uh, the pigs. If we don't have the big five acres fenced off by them, which we should, um, then I'll do other things moving. Right now, I need to make a path just in case um, we do, because I wanna back, back the trailer up to um the gate i'm going to be building which i'll show you guys that um and explain more all that but right now let me get in here clear as a spot and i'll show you guys i'm gonna clear some of this um, stuff that he um, actually mowed up also i'll just get here and show you guys real quick what my plan is kind of explain it to you I'm gonna move these trees out of the way real quick. And I see a pretty good little path I already got through here. And whenever I laid this water line out, I actually put a spout out here just in case. I didn't know if I'd ever need it, um, but I wanted one out here just in case so I wouldn't have to come back and do it because I knew eventually we would have animals out here and it never hurts to have water access. Out here, where's it at though? I don't see it now. Where's it at, Gabby Gracie? Have you seen it? Have you seen our water access? I showed it in the video. Oh, there it is over there. So what I'm thinking is make this the pig area. We'll have plenty of shade. I can make a little waller out here for them. Come on, Gabby. Come, Gracie. The house is just right there. We'll be able to see them from the driveway. And it gives them some nice fresh ground to root up. Now, Brandy is wanting to like move the pin but the way i got it set up we, we could we could move the pin but the way I'm, i got it, i'm wanting to set it up i'm going to show you guys in a little bit is i'm going to build a gate for this electric fence before i always just walked over it and you know so it's not that big of a deal but this year i want to do things different i want to put the feeder on the outside when i raised them years ago i had the feeder on the inside and um i just didn't like that because you're always in there messing with it because they're always hitting it and stuff um, but i got a good plan a good idea in my head what i want to do and it involves being stationary. So as of right now, I wanna make it stationary, but we could move it if we wanted to. Yeah, so here's the water spout. This would even be a good spot over here. I don't know. Either one, either over here or over there. Maybe right there. Yep, and then we can just run a water hose to it. So there's the spout. We had some mud in it last time I used it. I need to get down to the bobcat and uh, clean this up a little bit since the rain has filled in the ditch. Yep, so that's what we'll do. All this stuff that he mowed up, 
and you guys can see. I'm gonna get the bobcat and clean it up in here. I'll clean all this up a little bit better for that netting, because one thing about the netting is when they root, they'll push all this up into the netting. I found that out at the old house when they did it with the hay and stuff, and then it could make it unreliable, I guess you might say, or even make it the net come up. So I wanna get as much of this debris out as possible and i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna do it right now today um but then uh, probably tomorrow when i set the pin up i'll probably end up having to clean it some more if i don't get enough here because i'm not exactly sure how much netting they sent um, for the pigs we'll have to find out we'll move all the stuff real quick Okay, I got that cleared out. Actually, some of this doesn't look like bad bad dirt. It looks pretty good. I think the pigs are gonna enjoy it. A lot of clay in it. Um, we'll, have, we'll end up digging us a little hole out here too, make a waller. But you can see I got my little pathway down like I wanted. So now what I'm gonna do is just pile all this up. Probably over here somewhere, wherever, and get it out of the way. And what I'll have to do uh, you guys know I do have my brush cutter too, so if there's any little stuff that's still sticking up that might be in the way of the electric fence, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hook up my mine later and knock that, finish knocking that down. But I'm going to set the camera up to show you guys just clean this up real quick. I think this is a good area. I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll leave that tree in the middle for them something to rub on and lots of shade in here. That's one thing about pigs, they do not sweat, so they got to have mud and shade to keep them cool. And as pig owners, you should know that. Okay, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Just pushing all the sticks up. Got this area done, making a pile right there. And it's pushing really easy. 
all right in there. So now I'm gonna clean all this up and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Um, but yeah, this is working great. You know, this will actually, this stuff will actually turn into compost over the next year or two. It takes a while, I guess, uh, for this much wood to decompose, but it will. Bobby, you getting all the bugs? Got my grub worm. <laughs> yeah, Bob? Oh yeah, you know what's up. He just ate him big old fat grub worm. Is that good, Bobby? So he's coming, I'm surprised all the chickens ain't over here. Bobby's coming up behind me and getting all the bugs out there underneath there. It's pretty smart of him. I just don't want to run him over. Gotta be careful because he's coming up right up beside me. This is the biggest he's ever been as far as his tail feathers. Those are long. I just want to show you guys how he's coming up and cleaning up behind me. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up. Gabby, Gracie, where's Gabby? Gabby, oh come on, come on, Gracie. You trying to get in there with Brandy? She's trying to go in there with Brandy. I said she's trying to go. Oh, she's trying to go with you. I said she's trying to go with you. I don't want to go back to the bed. Oh no, no. We've been rolling around the dirt. We've been rolling around the dirt. Okay, so all that is going to be part of the pig pen. Let's go out there. I'm going to drop it off out there where I'm going to be working at um, later and show you guys something I found at Lowe's earlier that I haven't seen before and I'm willing to test it out. And uh, I'll show you that in a second. Okay. Okay, so this is what I found at Lowe's. I found super interesting, especially for the project that I want to do. And uh, let me show you real quick. So I have not seen these. These could be around for a long time. I don't know. But instead of having to dig a hole and um, and concrete all in, you can just dry that down and put a 4 by 4 post in there. Never seen these before. Pretty cool though, huh? So we're going to try it. So it's really rocky out here on this property and i'm hoping i can make these work because what i'm going to be doing with these is I'm, so i'm going to make a gate so what i'm going to do is probably make 
a four foot wide gate, probably like three foot tall because pig uh, the pig fence is only like three foot tall. Whatever the pig fence is, that's what I'll do. I think it's like three foot. So I'll, ma I'll, I'll match it or make it a little bit higher um, than the fence itself, but it's not gonna be this four or five foot gate, <laughs> gate like I got for the, um, the horses and things like that. Um, pigs, this, this is gonna be a, hopefully a simple design where I could put these in the ground, these right here with the four by four post and make my gate across it. So what I wanna do is make the gate and raise it up above the ground where I can get my feeder up underneath the gate. And um, I might have, I'll probably end up putting two feeders underneath there, just depending. And um, I can feel everything from the outside. I never have to go inside unless I need to move a shelter or something like that, or pick up poop and things like that. But for the ease of what I'm wanting to do, raise these pigs um, for these families and for our family, I try to make it as simple as possible. And I always try to make it um, automatic, automatic water, automatic feeder. That way if I'm traveling or whatever, I'm um, bringing the girls have very minimal things to do with the animals or whoever comes, if we're all traveling, someone's to take care of them. Mainly just gotta check on, make sure they're still alive um, at that point. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing with all this is making a gate. That's the charger and that's the fence itself. But this is what I'm hoping works. I hope this works. Hope I can get this driven down. I think with the Bobcat, I'll be able to hammer it down in there a lot easier than I can with a sledgehammer like it's saying. Um, but that's what um, the plan is for this fence. So once you, you guys will see what I'm talking about once I get it done. And um, I hope it works out really well. That way some of you guys can do this too. And um, you feel, you'll find out real quick um that you will you do not need a lot of land to raise pigs you don't at all and um, you're gonna see i've done this for i think anywhere from eight to ten years i've been raising pigs i have to look back on my videos for a while and um i've done so many different ways and what i found out over the years to ra to raise out pigs for um, families in our family you don't need a lot of space keep it clean give them fresh water clean water and food and they're content pigs if give them a waller and some shade they're super content. They won't even try to escape as long as they got food and water and shelter as far as from, um, when I say shelter, I mean shade pretty much, but we will put a shelter in here too. So many times that I've seen it raining and, and all that and the pigs are just out in the middle of it, not even underneath the shelter I had. So that shelter is not a must, but we'll have trees for the shade and we'll make a waller and I'll have a shelter out here. So that if you have those things, super easy to raise um, pigs for your family and um, it's uh, a lot better meat than you're going to buy at the grocery store i can promise you that so yeah that's the goal is to raise good meat on a little bit of land here so eventually i would like to raise our own pigs like have a uh, a mommy and daddy and little baby pigs where we can actually sell the piglets um, to the market you know out to other families other people that want to raise these and um, have some for ourselves. Right now, we have to rely on other people to buy pigs from, and I want that to change. The whole depends on getting this this fence stall because I just don't have the pins to do what I want. So that's coming. That is coming. Um, I'm gonna buy the material really, really soon, and um, I want to look for an auger for this so I can actually drill all the corner posts and set it myself. I think that would be um, good because I'll, I'll, I got so many things I'll need an auger for here at the creek property and all that. Um, I think it'd be a good investment to get something for that um, bobcat. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so you guys know where we're at, so stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be working on this for the rest of the day. Um, and um, I won't have time to show you guys in this video, so I want to get this out for you guys. But you guys see what we're doing. And um, you're up to date with what um, I got going on right now. And um, I'll keep you guys more updated, and I'll show you guys setting this all up. I'm excited to do this. Um, I haven't seen anyone do it. doesn't mean no one has. It's just I came up with this idea in my head earlier. Like, yeah, I want to put a fit. I want to put a gate on there. Now, they do sell gates for um, at least the chicken and the sheep. I don't know about the pigs. I, I had a tall one, um, but this one's going to be ideal for what I'm wanting to do. You'll see. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, like I said earlier, please, please subscribe. Love to have you guys here. Love you all. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.